The new medical school coming to Austin could create some positive side effects for the local biotechnology industry. 55% of voters approve paying higher taxes to help fund the University of Texas Medical School at Austin. As KXAN's Aaron Cargile reports, the future has local scientists excited. This is a unique look inside a lab in Austin, very close to gaining FDA approval on a cancer treatment being used on patients at MD Anderson. From one of these small bags, um, we could probably get 20 to 30 vials. Inside these plastic bags, proteins that can stop cancerous tumors from spreading are being produced in a mixture that includes genetically engineered cells. The drug has treated 18 different kinds of cancer. The company making it, X Biotech, says a medical school in Austin can only help their cause. It just gets us more notoriety and it helps get, you know, a, a great drug like ours out. Tom Kowalski says X Biotech is a prime example of the companies and breakthroughs a new medical school will attract. It will bring in top quality researchers uh, on various disease groups from asthma, diabetes, oncology, heart disease. The president of the Texas Healthcare of Bioscience Institute says it will help recruit and keep companies in Texas. For the patient, access to these new drugs can be easier when they're in your own backyard. Instead of driving to Houston or driving to Dallas for a clinical trial, at some point in the very near future, uh, we'll be able to have clinical trials here where a patient can go and receive uh, the type of medical treatment that is required in a clinical trial. And one group will continue fighting to stop the health care tax hike that will help pay for the medical school. The Travis County Taxpayers Union plans to rally in front of the courthouse Tuesday. A hearing is scheduled in the federal lawsuit the group filed that claims the wording on the ballot was against the law because it encouraged people to vote yes. Reporting live, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News.